You know the saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade? Well, on the internet, when life gives you a girl making food in a parking lot, some claim she's cooking crack. That's right. Today we're breaking down what I'm calling Parking Lot Chef Gate, the saga of 20-year-old IRL streamer Extra Emily casually firing up a portable grill to cook herself lunch, and the internet losing its mind thinking she was Walter Whiting it up brewing crystals. I'm your host, Smeower. Let's get cooking. First, a little background. Emily is a small-time IRL streamer, meaning she live streams random slices of her daily life. The other week she was feeling peckish, didn't have access to a kitchen, so she resourcefully decided to grill herself a steak in a parking lot. Pretty innocuous, right? Enter the internet. Soon her stream started blowing up with viewers accusing her of cooking drugs rather than dinner, and thus a viral spectacle was born. I mean, at first glance, I can kind of see why it seems sketch. Girl sets up janky grill in a dingy parking lot rather than using a kitchen. Kind of weird, but also kind of typical harmless Gen Z hijinks. But no, commenters instantly started crying foul, 100% convinced this was a drug lab, not a kitchen. The accusations came fast and furious. One user defended her, saying street food in Vietnam is often cooked this way too. Fair point, but no dice. The crowd had already decided. Replies flooded in. Okay. Sam? Yes? This is a family establishment. Uh-huh. You're not allowed to cook crack in the parking lot. Oh! Oh, I'm cooking steak! What? I'm cooking steak! What kind of steak? Um, so I made some ribeye, and then I'm doing like a YouTube challenge where it's like my steak versus the Outback steak. What? Yeah. So it's not crack, don't worry, don't worry. Are you sure it's not crack? Yeah, 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 here's my steak. This is the steak, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just for a YouTube, like, Twitch thing, so sorry for making you uncomfortable. But don't worry, don't worry, it's it's, uh, it's steak. Okay. Th thank you, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, she thought I was cooking crack. Mmm! It tastes really good! Mmm! Disappointed she wasn't cooking crack. She needs to apply for a job of the parking lot she is in and get off the internet. Hopefully, we will make it back to a time where people mind their own FKN business. I mean, the speculation was wild. Since when did a spatula become a crystal ladle? But hey, this is 2023 internet. Logic and reason live in the corner, snacking on paint chips while the inmates run the asylum. So, why were people so quick to call foul? Maybe it's the times we live in. Everyone's on high alert, convinced the downfall of society is just one TikTok away. Or maybe people just love a good outrage. Either way, pretty soon crack chef Emily was trending for all the wrong reasons. Poor Emily, though. Just out here trying to scrounge up some grub, suddenly she's Tony Montana. But the munchies stop for no one. Undeterred, she powered through the allegations and ate her lunch as the comments roared. Gotta respect the commitment to the bit. Short of actually producing a bag of powder for the camera, not sure what else she could have done to prove her innocence. Relax guys, this is 100% organic, locally sourced, farm-to-table crack made with love right here in my Coleman portable stove. In the end, parking lot chef gate reminds us how quick we can be to judge, how a whiff of something salacious overwhelms common sense. The story isn't really about cooking though, it's about the combustible combination of internet outrage and boredom, how we fixate on the petty over the pressing. But hey, that's entertainment baby. So let this be a lesson to us all. Next time you see someone getting crafty where they shouldn't, take a breath before crying drug lab. After all, even cooking crackheads gotta eat. Just maybe let them use a kitchen next time. I'm Smewer. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe if you want more hard-hitting analysis of internet nothing burgers. Now if you'll excuse me, this YouTube drama has me feeling peckish too. Think that parking spot is free?